This is what I have for breakfast every day. Strawberries, blueberries, granola. It's a honey almond granola with fat-free Greek yogurt. And then these two get to lick the bowl and the fluffy one complains loudly and bites my nose if she doesn't get to in her timeline. Don't you? Mm-hmm. I'm sitting here trying to watch Dawn's Vlogmas Day 1. I will link that below. And I've just finished my yogurt bowl and these people, they won't leave me alone. Don't lick me. Ew. You done, Roxy? Look at the tongue on that red dog. Ah, he's gonna get every last corner of that. And it's gone. Nice and clean, I can put it back in the cabinet. Now I'm watching Gwenny's Vlogmas Day 1. Go, 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 go. And she's hilarious. And I've got Roxy next to me and Baron right here sleeping on top of me. I hope you can see that because I can't see what's going on. Almost time to leave for work, but I have time to finish Gwenny. And of course I will have her Vlogmas linked below, one of my absolute favorite Vlogmases. She's wonderful. I'm Autumn Beckman and welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. As I'm editing these Vlogmas videos, I have realized that I need to start making thumbnail images because so far the last two have just been me holding the dog and I don't know what I'm going to do today because it's very similar. Maybe I should do something that's a little more similar to what I usually do with the thumbnails, which is some kind of pose and maybe add some imagery in. Who knows? We will see. I don't have ideas yet. Anyway, that was kind of off topic a little bit. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 3. So happy you're back, assuming you're back having watched the first two. I think you're really going to enjoy today's video. This is the day you get to meet our new family member. We're going to start with a sad story, but then it's going to be a happy story that we end up with. Two different but related stories. But first, I want to follow up about yesterday's curried carrot puree and tell you that upon eating it, I realized I would change a few things. Less stock, maybe a third less stock. So maybe instead of six cups of stock, four cups, because it was very thin and I would like it to be thicker. Also, I felt like it did not have enough spice, so I would add curry and maybe add a few other things in it to also be pureed. For example, sauteing onion before the carrots are cooked and then cooking that in with the carrots and pureeing it. And I don't know what else. What, what else do you guys think would be good in there? Because it tasted very much like a thin carrot soup and not so much like a curried carrot soup. It was still good. I'd make it again with some alterations. And do you guys have my phone just buzz? Oh, that's funny. This is Jill in New Orleans. <laughs> I was just about to talk about what she's asking about. I was just about to ask you guys if you have ideas for other recipes you'd like to see, because I don't have it all finalized yet. I have a couple of ideas, but nothing really set in stone. And Jill is saying, if you're still open to Vlogmas ideas, what about a tour of your shelves? They're decorated so nicely for the holidays. Thank you. I can do that when I film the advent calendars today. What else were we gonna talk about, Roxy? Oh yes, before the stories. I talked yesterday about not being happy with how Vlogmas Day 1 looked, some camera issues, mostly lighting issues. I think I have fixed that, but it's going to take about a week to implement it. I think I fixed it by buying a new vlogging camera. The other issue was <laughs> last night, I was making that old fashioned and peeling the orange and I realized that I need two hands to do some things and then I need a third hand to hold the camera because I can't use a tripod on that camera anymore and I didn't want to buy a whole new camera just because I can't use a tripod but also that tripod's really critical to some things. I have purchased another camera but it's going to be about a week before it'll get here because everybody's sold out of everything because of Black Friday sales and because of issues worldwide and I can't believe I bought a camera right after Black Friday. Why didn't I come to this conclusion when the sales were going on? Who knows how much I could have saved but that's okay. I'm excited about this new camera it has several features including being able to attach a light to it so I also bought a light and I think that having a light on the camera is going to help when I'm doing the advent calendars hopefully that'll wipe out a lot of the shadows hopefully not create too much glare and also when I'm in the kitchen I can hold it and have a light on me and hopefully that will get rid of those terrible harsh shadows although I believe it was Daniel that said it was very film noir so if we think about it that way, I like your positive spin. Hello, Roxy. She's so cute. Okay, here is the sad story. I mentioned last night or on Vlogmas Day 1, I think it was Day 1, the dog treat advent calendar from Lily's Kitchen that I got that partly because the name is Lily and that was my mom's dachshund. 
her name was Lily, and that Lily died a few months ago, and I realized that I don't think I've told you that story. Lily was old. She was 14, 15, I think she was 15, and Lily loved going to the beach. That was one of her favorite things, and my mom had her at the beach that day. They go pretty often down to Galveston, and Lily had this little elevated bed that she would sit in, and the waves would come up on it some, or she'd just sit in the sun, and she really, really enjoyed it. And my sister and her husband, who live out of town, quite a ways out of town, they happened to be in town that weekend and they went down to Galveston with my mom and Lily as well. On the ride back to my mom's house, after this full day of fun in Galveston, Lily was on my mom's lap in the front passenger seat of the car and my mom realized that she died. She just went very peacefully after a wonderful day and we couldn't ask for much better than that, could we? So that's the sad story. The happy story is now a few months later, we have a new family member and now you have a better idea of where I'm going with this. So in this next segment, you'll see some Paul Cam because he and my mom went to pick up this new family member I have a new sister. Spoiler alert. And they did that on a Friday when I was working, so I couldn't be there to film. So you'll see Paul filming some footage, and then there are a couple more things in store. So here you go. Enjoy. So I see Paul. here's Mary and Nora for the first time together. Hello. Aren't they beautiful? Look at that little girl. <laughs> what do you think, little girl? And we're excited and about to bring her home. Okay. Isn't she adorable? She's the cutest, most precious little thing. Except for my dogs, of course. Now you're going to see my first time meeting her, Autumn Cam, and Roxy and Baron's first time meeting her. And there's some pretty funny moments here, so I hope you enjoy that as well. One note, you'll be able to see in this video, get a better idea of her size. I think in this video she was eight weeks old, and you'll notice she's about the same size as my dogs. And you'll also notice that she may seem a little thinner than she should. There's a reason for that. Although she came from a place where she and her litter were very well taken care of, on a visit to their veterinarian about a week before they were eligible to get vaccinated, they picked up Parvo, and very sadly, half the litter was lost. So she's a little smaller, but she survived, and we're very happy about that at least. But she's definitely bigger now. It's been a few weeks since I shot this, and she is very feisty, and she eats everything in sight. My dog spent last week with her while we were in Oregon. They stayed there, and she has a lot more energy than you even see in this video, and she wanted to play with them all the time, and unfortunately, they're still not having any of it yet. Yet, but you'll see their first interaction here, and it's very cute. Hello. Oh, goodness, what is it? Somebody woke up. Somebody woke up. <gasps> Look at that baby. She's so cute. They have no idea. They're smelling things. At some point, they will meet each other. What is that smell? Nora's looking at them. <laughs> She's stretching. We just woke her up from a nap. Oh, Roxy found her. They found her. They smelled the blanket. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Look. Look at those tails. Oh, as soon as I move the camera down, their tails stopped wagging. They had been wagging. Hi, Nora. Oh, she's so, so sleepy. What a cutie. She's so little, huh, Bear? Oh, she's very soft. Oh, my goodness. What a baby. What a little baby. Baron. Baron's like, ugh, leave me alone. Ugh. All these dogs. Look at that. She melts like you, Baron. Mm hmm. Oh. oh. <laughs> Can we play? No. You. You <laughs> dog slobber. She's going to give you kisses. Mm -hmm. He says, You're forcing me, Dad. <laughs> right. How little they are and how big they get. Mm hmm. What happened? Baron. <laughs> Baron, you're just not 
<laughs> sure look mine enough. Has she been in your So funny how she just sits there. Very chill. Hi Baron. <laughs> oh, hello, Roxy. You need help? Oh, Baron, be nice. <laughs> He's hiding behind me. There you are, real Camargin, you. <laughs> you better get used to that box. <laughs> She's a baby Roxy. Oh, she's Thank dicking you. you. She did. We love each mm -hmm. other already. Those are Vincent's baby pictures. Wasn't that adorable? Everything about Nora is adorable. Now in this next segment, we are making a paw print ornament with her. And I have to warn you, Paul was using my camera to film and he's not used to filming with a camera. He's used to just being a photographer taking still pictures. So he's used to turning the camera sideways to get vertical shots. And he did this with the video, which is why the video is vertical and only takes up a third of the screen at some points. We had to talk about that later. Yes, we did. Hello. Oh, Courtney, She's, is it food? Is it food? And now she does that. <laughs> it's not food. We're making a paw print ornament for Nora's first Christmas. Let's see, we dip her paw in the water. Which one do you want? You don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> is she right-handed or left-handed? Are you right-handed or left-handed? Huh? What are you? She's squirmy. She's very squirmy. Okay, let's do this one. I think she thinks there's food, is what it is. <laughs> Not your nose, your paw. <laughs> She's drinking the water. Okay. All right. Now. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Look at those long toenails. That looks great, Nora. All right, now it is time for advent calendars. This is what you don't see in the chair behind me when I'm filming that. I'm not usually a big chocolate person, but I'm ready for some chocolate right now. This looks like a milk chocolate piece. Looks a little bit too big for the container it's in. Hold on. Milk chocolate with some kind of swirly design that it will not focus on. There we go. There's the inside. This one isn't my favorite. Like a cookie on the bottom with something smushy on the top and robed in milk chocolate. Tony's calendar, door number three. Hmm. White package and it says flavor, white, white, white. I don't have a tripod, so I have to lean over as I put the camera on the shelf. I think it's just white chocolate. Mm-hmm. I like white chocolate. It's not really chocolate, of course. Okay, shelf tour. Well, my mouth is full of chocolate. This guy, I don't remember now where I got it. I feel like I bought it and nobody gave it to me, but if somebody watching gave it to me, correct me. Cannot remember where that's from. Not sure if you wanted to see down here, but I guess some people do. People ask about it sometimes. So this is the Louis Vuitton City Bags book. This is the Louis Vuitton Manufacturer's book. This is the Louis Vuitton The Spirit of Travel book. This is a Louis Vuitton Mini HL Speedy with a tassel from probably Dress Up Your Purse, which I'll have linked below with my discount card. Wait, no, discount code. Some fake flowers. A drawing given to me by a friend many years ago. A plaque made for me by fellow YouTuber Will McCason. When I reached a thousand subscribers, he gave that to me and several other people who reached that number around the same time. He made those. Then my kids have pause sign because they do. Over here, this is Ginger. She's one of our family dogs who died a few years ago as well. And Sebastian, my favorite dog ever. That's right, I said it. Who died a few years ago. A little dachshund statue. Somebody gave that to me. Louis Vuitton and Chanel books. This planner, I believe is from Cloth and Paper. 
These two are from Louis Vuitton, the GM and MM Agendas. This is an Hermes Agenda cover, and then this is that pen case that I showed you recently, the Expert pen case from Louis Vuitton. Most of the Christmas decor I have is really not special, like those trees. They're just from Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something. Same thing with the reindeer. And this little ornament, I'm guessing someone gave that to me, but I don't remember. My memory is usually better than that. Nutcracker is from Ulbricht, made in Germany. I like him because he has a little bird house. And I got that last year up at Old Town Spring at a German shop where they have lots of nutcrackers. And they have one right now that I would like to get that has a cuckoo clock, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that this year or not. And then over here under those advent calendars, another Louis Vuitton book, Extraordinary Voyages. This is a photo, old, old photo of me and my sister. A glass blown pumpkin from the glass blowing shop in Wimberley, Texas that we like to visit. More dachshund statues, also a gift. This candle, which reminds me I have something I need to show you. And this little camera statue that my sister gave me for Christmas a few years ago. And this Louis Vuitton book, which is also a gift. Let me show you the thing I got yesterday for this. So you may remember in yesterday's Vlogmas, I went to Diptyque at the River Oak Shopping Center here in Houston, and I bought gifts for a bunch of people. I also bought one little thing for myself, and it's in this box. Open it up, because I would like to see how this looks. And I'll have to show it to you in action over the weekend when I have time to burn a candle. But it is this. What is that, you may ask? Well, I will show you. It also has this piece with it. It's a lantern for your candle. So this piece sits on top as so, and then the lantern part goes right on top. And when the candle is burning, the heat from the flame spins. It has these fan things on the top, and it will spin and just look really pretty. And if you have it in a dark room, it also creates some light and some patterns on your wall. And I've wanted one of these for a couple of years since I first saw them. They are not cheap, but we deserve to splurge on ourselves sometimes, yes? She says cheekily. Also, they gave me a little gift. I don't know what the qualifications are for that, if you have to spend a certain amount or if they just liked me, who knows. But it's ornaments, and I have to hold them in because they'll fall out the bottom, it's open but it's these little metal ornaments that match the lantern. And if you take them out, well, let me just show you the instructions on here. It's made so you can bend the wire pieces and make it 3D, which I don't know that I will do. I may just get some ornament hangers or pull out the ones I already have and hang them from there as decoration. <sighs> look at this. Look how absolutely sad and pitiful they look. The red one is shaking. Mm-hmm, okay. All right, all this planner stuff on my table, we're gonna go into that in another video. I bought things in the Black Friday sales. Okay, well we can't do the calendars since you're sitting where the calendars go. I guess you don't want a cookie, huh? No cookies for Roxy. Just kidding, of course she's getting cookies. You finding it? Is it right here? That's door number four. You ready? Here we go. Gosh, she is so ready, ooh. It's funny how that scares her. She's so silly. They have the plastic perforated, so you have to bust through it to get it, which is really quite clever. There you go. Ow, my goodness, that was not very Christmassy. That was more like Grinchy, like Dale's Addictions Vlogmas. I will have that linked below, of course. Dale is wonderful. If you don't know her, go check her out. There you go, kid. She's down in Australia, and I've only seen her first Vlogmas day one so far for this year. I've seen everything from previous years, but her first episode was quite grinchy, and the thumbnail for the second one looks like it's pretty grinchy too. Baron, it's your turn. There you go. What a good boy, Roxy. You can just take it from there. I want to keep my fingers, thank you. Baron, there you go. Baron lost a bunch of teeth this year to dental cleanings, but he still manages to crunch. That's it. Gotta wait till tomorrow for more. Now for Vincent's box, number three. Let it snow. Well, look at this. She's ventured out today. Hello, Vincent. Here's your box for day number three. Here. Vincent, have you figured out yet that there's a peanut inside every box? Are you enjoying Vlogmas so far, Vincent? You like having your own advent calendar? My friend Jill Maurer asked about what happens with Vincent's boxes, what she does with them. So this is yesterday's, that gives you an idea. 